Hi, good morning everybody. If you could grab a seat or uh, grab a better viewing position, we're ready to get started with this uh, truly unique announcement and celebration. Thanks so much for all of you making time to, uh, to come along this morning and happy race day. Uh, pleased to say this is the biggest crowd ever at the Rolex 24 here at Daytona, which is a reason to celebrate. Yeah. Round of applause. Uh, a beautiful celebratory day in, uh, in sports car racing in this country. And we're going to continue the significant announcement uh, for later this year in the summer for the 100th anniversary of the 24 Hours of Le Mans and the Garage 56 project. Uh, for those of you, and I know there were many of you with us in the room at Sebring last year when we, when we broke the news, and that was, a, that was a pretty joyous occasion as well, this unique collaboration between IMSA, NASCAR, uh, General Motors and Chevrolet, uh, Goodyear, uh, the ACO, Hendrick Motorsports, so many, um, there's so many entities involved but uh, collaboratively, but it's come together just so wonderfully and, and, and the excitement level uh, kicks it up a notch here. I want to welcome John Doonan, the, the uh, president and um, project leader of Garage 56, if you want to call, president of IMSA. Jimmy Johnson, seven-time NASCAR Cup Series champion. Um, Mike Rockenfeller, who we were just having a, a, a chat back backstage that it was almost 20 years ago that Rocky came here as a youngster. He might have even still been a teenager then, Rocky, I think, and almost won on debut here in a GT car. 2009 Formula One World Champion, Jensen Button. Isn't it great to see Jensen here at the World Centre of Racing? And Jeff Andrews, President and GM of Hendrick Motorsports. Round of applause for everybody, please. And... And I know that many of you know this very well. Some of you may know it uh, not as much. But Garage 56 is a unique program that the ACO implemented many years ago uh, with technology, with a point of difference in mind, whether that's alternative fuels, alternative technology. Uh, you, you, many of you will remember the Delta Wing. You know, things like that, projects like that that partake. There's a special place at Le Mans for Garage 56. And what are you, what are you bringing? What point of difference are you bringing to this wonderful event. So that's what today is all about and you're going to see the people to pilot it. Um, John, we've been to Le Mans many years. We've seen Garage 56 projects, but this is something altogether different. And turning concept into reality, you're almost there. We are, Lee. And first, thanks to all the journalists and media from around the world that have come here to help us tell stories, certainly about the 61st running of the Rolex 24, but stories like this, really special stories uh, for our sport. When Bill France Sr. wanted to put NASCAR on a global stage in 1976, he did a little bit of his own Garage 56 project. He took two NASCAR teams over uh, to compete in what we all know is uh, the most iconic 24-hour uh, race in the world, uh, including, of course, our own Rolex 24 at Daytona. Jim France, our chairman, uh, decided he wanted to recreate that same story, a special opportunity to put NASCAR on a global stage. Um, he certainly had an opportunity to do that uh, with the new next-gen cup car. And then he said, let's bring a team of all-stars together. Uh, the winningest race team in NASCAR history with 14 cup championships. Uh, the winningest auto manufacturer in NASCAR history, Chevrolet. Uh, NASCAR's tire partner since 1954, Goodyear. Um, and working with our partners at the ACO, and I had to do a costume change uh, uh, to, from, from IMSA to Garage 56, but uh, Pierre Fion and his board uh, have uh, been open to this idea. Um, we definitely took them to a steak dinner. We're still waiting for our official invitation, which would hopefully come in about 30 days. Um, but it's truly an all-star team. And then the last bit was who's going to pilot this car, and we're thrilled to be able to announce that today. Jimmy, um of course, people naturally associated you with it because of your wonderful history with Hendrick Motorsports. But your diversity, right? The last couple of years in IndyCar, all the years that you raced here and almost won the Rolex 24 overall. I happened to be with Mr. H when he rang you at Sebring. <laughs> we were sitting on the taxiway and he said to me, do you think Jimmy would be interested? I said, yeah, I think so. So are you pleased that you're part of this? Yeah, especially as being the youngest driver up here on stage. I'm <laughs> so pleased to be here and... Um, be a part of this program. Um, when Rick called, I, I couldn't resist the opportunity. It's been a big dream of mine to to go to Le Mans and compete and be in Le Mans and, and experience what it's all about. And to have the experience I have had here, um, I know how special this event is, and I'm, I'm sad that I'm not out there today. But uh, to know that I'm going to Le Mans with this great group of drivers, this great team, the collaboration between GM, NASCAR, 
um, everybody involved. I mean, it's it's really a special special opportunity. Rocky, you've um, you've won the 24 Hours of Le Mans overall. Uh, you've won the Rolex 24 here at Daytona. You've represented all kinds of manufacturers. You've done a lot of the grunt work, if you wish, a lot of the test and development work. What's this been like, and, and what's it like for you to be part of this unique program? Well, I just uh, can underline what uh, Jimmy said. Um, it's, you know, incredible group of partners in this project. To be involved from day one uh, is just a great honor, a lot of fun. And, um, yeah, I can't wait, you know, now to share the car with these two especially young teammates. <laughs> <laughs> Jensen, this is something different. This is, uh, you know, you've often said post-Formula One career, you, you're, you know, eyes wide open, open to different things, different projects, and you still love to compete. So this, is, this fits the boxes different, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, this is a total surprise. I was on the way to Disneyland and, uh, <laughs> and I took the wrong road. So, no, it's, uh, it's, it's really, really special to be here. Um, and, yeah, seriously, I've always thought of myself as a, as a racing driver. And I finished my F1 career and I, I look for new challenges. Uh, and this is definitely an exciting challenge to work alongside these two. As you can see already, there's some good banter here with Jimmy thinking, dreaming that he's the youngest. Um, I think it just shows that... Uh, that teamwork that we, we will need um, to, to go to Le Mans and, uh, and to perform as we would like. So very excited to work with this All-Stars team. And uh, I think we can, we can achieve something very special. And not to mention your coach, Jordan Taylor, right? Yeah, coach. Where is coach? Where is coach? There he is. There he is. <laughs> um, so no, I'm, I, I follow Jordan on social media and he's very funny. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to working with you, coach. Jeff, talk about it from a Hendrick Motorsports uh, point of view. And, you know, like we said, there's, there's a lot of cooks in the kitchen or there's a, there's a lot of entities here trying to collaborate and collaborating successfully. What's it like to kind of have been the, the master puppeteer along with John? Yeah, well, thank you, Lee. And, and again, I just, uh, you know, want to say on behalf of Hendrick Motorsports, you know, we couldn't be more proud of this, this driver lineup that's, you know, going to go forward and, and represent this great effort um, Kind of a, a monumental effort, so to speak, uh, that we've been working on for quite some time, and uh, you know we know they're going to represent uh, you know NASCAR and Hendrick Motorsports and Chevrolet and, and Goodyear. This is uh, this going to be a great opportunity, uh, not only for us but for them, and, and we're looking forward to uh, you know our trip to Le Mans here in, in June. But um, yeah, from a, a vehicle side, you know everything's coming along well. We've got we've got a test down here uh, Tuesday, Wednesday. We're looking forward to that. It's on track time, the first time we get these three guys in that car um, consistently and uh, get their feedback. Exciting months ahead for sure. By the way, Chad Canals is here. Chad, where are you? Chad, Chad, Chad is here. You'll get a chance to talk to Chad later as well. But the guys are going to take some questions now. So first up, who, who's got to go? Gary, you got a question? You know, fire out first. Gary Watkins, no? No, not yet? Okay, yeah? Yes, let's go. Nate, go for it. Nate Ryan. Just yell. Here you go. <laughs> uh, Nate Ryan, NBC Sports. i got a couple. Uh, I guess maybe for Jeff first. Uh, Jeff Gordon, I know, was trying to get in race shape and maybe do this. What happened there? Uh, I think I think I could speak for him and say these three guys uh, came to the surface and and he was really good with the decision. So, <laughs> Jimmy, are you okay with the decision? Because he would have been the oldest. <laughs> that, that would have helped <laughs> tremendously. Yes. And then I thought Rocky was in his 40s, and I found out he's still only 39. So <laughs> I insulted him on the walk over. Um, and. For Jimmy and Rocky, you, you guys kind of come full circle here, right? Because uh, you sent the email after the crash, I think, at Le Mans to, uh, to about Rocky in 2011. Is it, I guess both of you can kind of comment on that, how cool that is, that they're going to be racing together at the event where you guys kind of got to know each other. Yeah, I guess through time, that, that portion of the story uh, hasn't been in my mind. I just know the last two years and sharing the car with them here at the Rolex 24, um, how much fun we've had the relationship we've built and honestly being around one another, I, I think in both being in the Action Express car really helped us uh, move forward with this program and, and be in the, um, the early days of developing the car. And then now we've got the nod to, uh, to participate in it together. So uh, it's been a great couple of years. I think we've built a great friendship um, and certainly looking forward to, to racing together in Le Mans. Not much to add, I think uh, he said it all. I mean, it's, it's you know, like I said, um, to be with Hendrik for me, you know, it was the first time obviously to work with the team and um, it's such a high level and it's it's really, really impressive and uh, all the other partners involved. And then um, to be with Jimmy, I mean, I know him and uh, from the early days we talked about it, you know, when this thing started and uh, I 
I knew there's a high chance he will be involved. Uh, he told me, so uh, that was fun. And then now to have Jensen, which I never raced with in the same car, but we actually did race against each other once, I think, in Hockenheim, right? In a DTM race uh, where he showed up. And I think we were in the press conference together. So, um, yeah, let's hope that we have uh, some fun. And um, definitely, uh, I think the fans will love this car in Le Mans. That's for sure. And then uh, one for Jensen. Uh, can you can give us maybe the backstory about how it came together. I know that you've worked with Jeff Gordon in the past. Obviously, as a Hendrick executive, did he kind of help make this happen? Or no, actually, it was initially through Jimmy, a long time ago. Long time ago. Yeah, I was I was uh, just asking Jimmy what he's up to in uh, in 2023, um, and uh, you know, because this guy can't sit still. Um, so he was running through a few things he's hoping to do, and uh, and he said, "I'm I'm hoping to to bring NASCAR to Le Mans." I was like, "Sorry, what?" <laughs> um, and it started there, and then I got in touch with with Rocky, um, and uh, he said, "We're we're testing out in Sebring." He said, "Come along, come and check out what we're doing, and see if it's something that would would interest you." Um, and then spoke to John, and uh, and it all started from there. But um, yeah, I haven't driven the car yet. Um, but I was at the test in Sebring watching and listening to all the information that the drivers were feeding back about the car and the big steps forward that they were making with the car uh, was, was very impressive. So, yes, looking forward to driving the car on Tuesday. So, Jimmy, you dumped Jeff. You picked Jensen and got Jeff out of there. <laughs> sure. Yeah. And then I kicked him out of the GTP car this morning so I could drive it as well. <laughs> but, but, but he's sick, right? You, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, you tested the next gen. This week earlier, I did. and that was yep. your f that was your first time, correct? First time. So, what did you think? It, it's a much different vehicle than what I remember. Um, you know, from the driveline perspective and shifting, the um, just the general feel, the attitude of the car. I'm not used to the cars running so nose up, but now with the underwing on the car and trying to charge the uh, the underwing itself for downforce, it's just a different animal. So, I'm very thankful I got those laps. It did feel foreign but it felt a hell of a lot closer to home than driving an IndyCar. It, it was within six laps, I was you know, right there on pace with the guys, so that was, that was nice to be back at home. Other questions? Come down here. Hi, Thibaut from EnduranceInfo.com. Uh, Jimmy, can you tell us a little bit how much different this car is to your usual NASCAR car? Um, I think we're, we're going to have some more details come out um, in another announcement more specific to the car itself. But I can say that we're taking every effort we can to really carry the NASCAR um, DNA over to Le Mans. That, that's really the, the design and the intent for this program. Um, even that big V8 engine, um, you guys are going to, you know, everybody in France is going to love hearing that thing scream down the straightaways. Question for Jimmy. So you've obviously in the last couple of years, you've driven a lot of different stuff. How does this compare and how is it going to feel representing both NASCAR and Hendrick at Le Mans? A huge honor to represent NASCAR, um, Hendrick Motorsports, all the partners involved, Goodyear, Chevrolet, um, a lot of history. You know, I have a lot of history with all the people involved. So it, it's very meaningful to me to be invited to come do this and to represent everyone. Um, and then, yeah, the car, the car is different than your typical NASCAR vehicle. You know, there have been some modifications made, uh, but it, it's really a fun car, and I'd kind of put it somewhere in between what a NASCAR vehicle is capable of and maybe one of the, the prototypes that are on track here this weekend. Um, it's kind of a hybrid of the two. Up here, please. This is for Jeff. Uh, Hendrick Motorsports, obviously involved in this program. They helped Jimmy in his North American Endurance Championship years and you're going to Indianapolis in 2024 with Kyle Larson. Uh, do you see Hendrick Motorsports going past part-time programs in other motorsports? Do you want to go full-time in, say, IMSA or IndyCar? Well, I think for us, we, um, you know, we certainly have an interest in, in obviously, Mr. Hendrick and racing and winning and, and doing well. And, and we're certainly, as a company um, over the years, you know, no doubt have been, been, been really solely focused on NASCAR. But now we've... We're taking some opportunities with some different drivers we have and, and getting out and looking at some other things. This is a, another great example. Uh, Chad Knauss has put together an amazing team um, at Hendrick Motorsports. Greg Ives, former crew chief for us. Um, ben Wright, uh, a lot of experience in this industry. So 
uh, we're, we're definitely getting our toe in the water, just just kind of see what's out there. We, we do want to be involved in, in some other forms of racing. I, I don't have a time frame for you, but, but this is a great way for us to kind of get our toe wet. Question over on the side here. All right, we'll go in the back while we wait. Uh, this question is for Jimmy. When it's all said and done, I know you've done Sebring, you've done a lot with NASCAR and IndyCar, but when your career is all said and done, you want to feel like you've accomplished everything that you can on the motorsports stage where you left nothing undone. Yeah, I, I think that is buried in my mind somewhere, but more than anything, I just want to drive race cars. And I think the last couple of years I've, I've proven that, or have shown that, I should say. And an opportunity like this is a chance in a lifetime opportunity. So, um, you know, it's the last thing standing on my bucket list as well. You know, my own personal list that I've had through the years is to go to Le Mans. Um, but I also feel like with my involvement now with Legacy Motor Club and my future in, in the sport itself, um, I'm, I'm not done. You know, I, I love, I love motorsport uh, far and wide and, and really look forward to uh, the years that I have ahead of myself. I think there are less years driving the car and holding the steering wheel and more years outside of, but um, just really excited for the challenges ahead. And one follow-up question real quick. The, the thought of driving in a 24-hour race, is that something that, you know, how do you approach that knowing that this is one heck of a challenge that's and on that list of things that you're looking to accomplish? I've enjoyed the races I've had here at the Rolex 24 and can only imagine what it will be like in France. But as an endurance sports athlete, I uh, doing triathlons and marathons and such, I just I love that kind of challenge. And I've always left a 24-hour race here just exhausted physically and mentally with a smile on my face. I, I really do enjoy the challenge. We have time for two more questions. We'll go right here and wrap up over on this side. Hi, uh, Phil Oakley, Motorsport Week. Uh, in terms of the new GTP class and hypercar class at the moment, would that interest any of you three drivers in driving those in the future? or? Or is that something you've, you've kind of put behind you now in terms of Rocky and, and stuff? Yeah, I think the year after, we are all together in a in the top category. We start with the Garage 56, and then we will be there. Now, of course, uh, you know, it's a great era. I mean, it's let's be honest, it's... Uh, I have been there, I don't know, when it was the first time in a GT car in Le Mans. And for me, Le Mans is, is really, in Europe, or, you know, in endurance racing, one of the yeah or the biggest race in the world and um, to be there and fight for overall victory i think every driver wants to do that um, but this year for sure for us it's a, it's a little different we won't be able to um, but we will for sure see the cars um, and and you know watch it closely and and i think for the sport it's just amazing to see all these manufacturers coming to le mans because i remember we raced there and we were one or two brands, you know, and it was already great. But now to have all these manufacturers on the grid, it's it's truly amazing uh, for Le Mans, but also I think we don't need to look that far. We just watched the race today and we see already um, what it will be like. Hi, Richard James, racer. Uh, Jensen, these two guys next to you are no surprise in this project. You're a little, you are a little bit. Is was were there any reservations uh, when you were first offered the opportunity? Uh, reservations, no. Um, I wanted to understand the the project a lot more, um, and you know, I wanted to spend a bit of time with the team, speak to these two drivers, um, and I visited Hendrick Motorsports, and uh, I have to say, I was blown away at the facility. Uh, you know, I've raced for some of the best Formula One teams in the world, and um, uh, and it still surprised me how good the the, the facility was, uh, the intrinsic detail that goes into everything they do within the team. So I knew that they would be developing and uh, producing a fantastic car for us to, to to race at Le Mans. There's still a lot of work to do, obviously, but there's a great base uh, and something that us three, with our involvement. Um, and Jordan, yeah, we should uh, we should be to make something that is nice to drive at Le Mans and also competitive to, to race at Le Mans. You know, I getting back to the previous question, um, I I raced at Le Mans in 2018, and uh, before I went there, I was like, what's the big deal with with Le Mans? Um, I thought Formula One's the pinnacle, but Le Mans is such a special race. Uh, it's such a big team event. 
you know, we all have to work together to, to perform and, and to get a result out of it. Uh, and even though I didn't finish in 2018, it just got me excited to go back there for more. So this is my first time back since then uh, and uh, really looking forward to it. And yeah, possibly in the future, if, the, if there's the, the right situation, I would, I would uh, jump at the chance to, to jump in a LMH, LMDH. And, and for John, a quite the varied mix standing ne sitting next to you. Was that the intent of the project from the start, to have this kind of background, mix of backgrounds? Uh, I would suggest if there is ever such a thing as an all-star team in motorsports, this project is the absolute poster of that. Um, first started with Jim France's vision, then it started almost a year ago with a conversation with Rick Hendrick and the organization that Rick and, and uh, his whole entire organization, uh, it's unbelievable to have Chad Knauss and Greg Ives involved in this. You couple that with what Chad and Jimmy uh, accomplished over 15 seasons, uh, seven championships, uh, 83 wins, twice here on this stage in 06 and, and 2013, unbelievable. Um, then you go on to uh, Mike Rockefeller and a Lamar winner um, unbelievable uh, endurance sports car experience. Then you add in uh, a world champion from Formula One. It's exactly, Richard, what um, the vision was, was to put NASCAR on a global stage and bring drivers from so many different disciplines like you've seen in NASCAR Cup. Mike ran twice last year at Watkins Glen, the Charlotte Roval, Kimi Raikkonen at Watkins Glen, and on and on and on, and this list keeps growing. Um, then it was a conversation with the folks at Chevrolet, Mark Royce, Jim Campbell, Jim Danahy, and their whole entire team, and they embraced the idea of uh, joining in in this project. Then, of course, Goodyear, uh, Justin Fantosi, Stu Grant, Rich Kramer, those folks said, absolutely, you know, what an amazing opportunity to be with this all-star team. In the end, our hope is to put NASCAR on a global stage. Um, Steve Phelps, Steve O'Donnell, John Probst, uh, Brandon Thomas, they have uh, created something absolutely incredible with the Next Gen Cup car. 19 different winners in Cup last year. Unbelievable. Uh, I'd like to think that we're going to break that record as a company uh, in 2023. The other piece is we've learned a lot already about this car and what might be able to be applied to the NASCAR Next Gen Cup car. Um, just this week, based on the work that Rocky's done in the sim, Jimmy's done in the sim, Jensen in the sim, Dr. Eric Jacuzzi, our, our aerodynamicist for NASCAR, um, there were components that we've tested on the next gen, uh, or the, the Garage 56 car rather, that were tested at Phoenix that might be applied for short track racing or road course racing. And then here on Tuesday, um, we're gonna fire up headlights Working headlights, working taillights, no more stickers. Right. Um, and we're really excited about that uh, to help maybe bring some things from this project that could be applied. And again, it's all about putting NASCAR on a global stage. So on behalf of Jim France and Rick Hendrick, who, who really started this, um, we have an awesome opportunity. And I know on February 23rd, Mr. France is going to be rushing to the mailbox, uh, waiting for that invitation from Pierre and the board. And uh, I think his first phone call will be to uh, Mr. Hendrick to let him know the great news that uh, this awesome team of all-stars are going to go over and uh, compete at Le Mans. Unbelievable. Great. Thank you very much. Thank all you gentlemen. A uh, few notes. Uh, before we close, we will do a photo opportunity with them right here. Immediately following, we do have some availability uh, with these gentlemen, Chad Knaus, uh, Jordan Taylor has a few minutes. We'll be in the room next door uh, for just a few minutes for any follow-ups. Thank you all very much. Thank you.